Let's take an overview of what we have today. We will be showing you four main steps to identify the laterality of the fetal body. Each step will be expanded shortly after this overview section. Step 1 will be to obtaining either a sagittal view or kernel view of the fetal body. Step 2 focus on obtaining its transverse view based on instruction listed below. Please note that these steps are adapted from Cortex and his colleagues. Step 3 is to get to know and to understand the left hand rules of thumb technique. Step 4 is to determine the laterality of the fetal body by using the left hand rules of thumb. Note that the sequence of these steps must not be reserved or else the images electronically will be switched before the left-right axis assessment is completed. Step 1. Sagittal view. First, you identify the fetal head. Then, you rotate the transducer 10 to 90 degree to get the fetal neck position. Next, you will sweep the transducer downward from the fetal neck to along its spine to obtain a clear sagittal view of the fetal. Please be aware that the fetal neck is on the left side of the observer on the video screen. Step 2. Transverse view. In this step, there are two types of presentation you might encounter with. Each has a slightly different method to obtain a transverse view. If it's a breech presentation, you will rotate the transducer 90 degree counterclockwise to obtain the transverse view. If it's a vertex presentation, you will rotate the transducer 90 degree clockwise instead. Step 3. Left hand rules of thumb. As shown in the picture, the wrist will be fetal head, the palm equal to fetal abdomen, dorsal side of the forearm will be equivalent to the fetal back. Fingers will be fetal feet, and please note that the thumb will always point to the fetal left side. Put your left hand on the same position of the fetal body. This is a reminder that since it's a breech presentation, the wrist, which is fetal head, will be superior. In this example, the fetal spine is at the bottom of the screen, so your hand dorsal will be facing downward. Step 4. Determine the laterality of the fetal body. With the transverse view, you will need to create a straight line from the spine that divided the fetal body into half. Then you apply the technique from the previous step. You will notice that the thumb is on the right side of the screen. The fetal heart is also on the right side of the screen. The thumb is also the left side of the fetal body, which leads us to the conclusion that the fetal heart is on the left. Thank you for watching our video. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to your channel to follow and see more content like this in the future. I'll see you next time.